welcome to this week's OBC. My name is Hayden. And my name is Will. We will be looking at the four aspects of our school. One being athletics, academics, the arts, and area. We are very excited to be here today. Welcome to OBC. There's a ton of stuff going on in the area. Like what, Hayden? Let's take a look, Will. Let's. Hi, I'm Michelle here with OBC talking with Miss Stefan and Miss Thelma about the reality store coming up. So, what's it about? The reality store lets the kids imagine live their life five, ten years down the road, paying bills, working a job, um, getting credit cards, and so on. So it really puts the reality of life in perspective for these kids that are graduating. All right. Is there anything um, that we need to bring for this? or? Well, there's a lot of community members that will be in here working at each booth, so we encourage you to dress nice, dress to impress, um, but other than that, uh, most of the materials will be provided. Phone usually is helpful for a calculator, so when you're calculating that math, otherwise something to write with and an open attitude, um, an open mind so that you can get the most out of it. Most students walk away and they actually say it was really eye-opening and they really enjoyed the experience because when they got a chance to go and find a place to live or buy a car or decide if they're going to have a Y membership or not, I mean, it really helped them to figure out their budget for a monthly basis. All right, sounds pretty interesting. Seniors, reality store coming up. See you there. Hey everyone, we're from Best Buddies. March is Inclusion Month, so we are spreading the word to end the word. We are going to end the use of the hateful R word and spread respect. Come buy a t-shirt to help spread the word to end the word. It will only be $10 and we'll be selling them today through Friday. As you can see, it's a very nice bright color. It's got some cool graphics, a nice background. People will know you're nice if they see you wearing it. Come buy them right outside of Mr. Jensen's room in the main hallway and sign the banner while we're at it. Pledge your name to stop using the hateful R word and spread respect. Thank you. I saw your picture at the Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I'm Alex Pierce of the National Business Honor Society, and we are running a drive from March 1st and March 28th for the Humane Animal Welfare Society, also known as Haas and Walk Shop. And your general supplies for dogs and cats will help, but the full list of where you can see what you can donate will be above the tub by Starkey's room. So please donate anything is welcome. Thank you very much. Guess what, Hayden? What, Will? We have another elevator interview. Sweet. My name's Joe Bloom, and this is Elevator Interviews, where the interview lasts as long as the elevator ride. I'm Joe Bloom and we're here for another elevator interview. Today I'm here with six seniors and tomorrow is the ACT and do you guys have any advice for the juniors going into this ACT? No. Um, well, I think I can speak on behalf of all of us in saying that you do not need to be scared. The ACT is not bad, it's actually kind of fun. And like, just some, some quick tips. Um, it's not about how smart you are because everybody knows about the ACT. Everybody knows all the information. It's about timing and like, timing yourself, so just remember that. Um, 
just some other tips when you're doing the reading section, don't read the passage first, and look at the questions first, and then answer it through the passage. Um, Does anyone else have any advice? Uh, oh, <laughs> pencils! Pencils, number two pencils. Try to be efficient. Try to be efficient as possible. Yeah. Charge your calculator. I calculate, calculate. Oh, don't forget a bottle of water. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's allowed. All right. This was a bit of a clutter, but thank you guys for doing this. This Woo! has been another elevator interview. Ruin! <laughs> okay, so right now we're doing the OBC picture for the yearbook, but there's no Schuler. Anybody? He's gone. Anybody know where he is? I'm kind of freaking out right now. Schuler, get down here right now. Schuler! <laughs> get down here right now. Or else no dessert after dinner. <laughs> Ooh, time for pictures for the yearbook. I know how much this means to my students. Schuler, can we get a letter of recommendation? I'm calling Schuler because he neglected to come to the club photo. Jerk. Jerk. How rude. Oh, Gaskin's calling me. Mr. Schuler, there's a mouse trapped in a vent and we need you to save it. What's its name? Fitzgerald. All right. You have attempted to contact me at an inopportune time. Record what you have to say, and I shall respond in due time. Hey, Schuler. Hey, um, just calling to see where you are. Um, we've pictures. we've been at the club picture for a while, and you're still not here. Um, we've waited like You're our minutes. supervisor, so you should probably yeah, grow so, up. Some advisor you are. <laughs> so sad. Some advisor you are. Just saying, you suck. There's donuts here, and you don't get any. I gotta go to the pictures. Oh! <laughs> are you okay, Lily? We have to get to the picture. It means a lot to the students. The students! We ran out of time! They're gonna be so disappointed! No! Oh. Oh. Hi, I'm Sam Gaskin, and here's this week's joke of the week. So a snail is slurping around through the forest when a turtle comes up and takes his wallet. A police officer comes over and asks the snail about the crime. He said, can you describe the turtle for me? And the snail says, I don't know. It happens so fast. <laughs> so Herbert, as you see, we're going to have a game day here. and It'll be March 18th. It's going to be really exciting. I think you should come along too. I've had enough of Globy Shtick. He is an unprofessional actor, not fit to be on camera. I want my own show. Well, the only thing we have is game day planning. Why don't you take Kevin with you? Nah, he's not Globy material enough. I guess I'll take this one solo. March 18th, lots of games. Here we there. It's gonna be cool. Lots of games. Don't run away. Are you gonna be the Games Club March 18th for their tournament where they'll have lots of games and lots of fun? That's cool. Hey, wait a second. What are you doing filming me? We're filming you. I know my rights. No! You can't tell oh! Are you going to the Games Club event on March 18th? <laughs> If I survive this, mm, I can't guarantee that, buddy. <laughs> March 18th, it's gonna be lots of fun stuff. Yes, awesome. I will be at the event. Let's go. Not the same. Wait a second.
Hey, what's up, OBC? Uh, it's Mr. K. I'm here outside room 122. That's the room of my brother-in-law, a Mr. Andy Zietlo. If that's his real name, I don't know. Nobody even knows. Uh, apparently, I've been told by some of your staff reporters, and I might add a crack staff reporter at that, meaning good, not that they do crack, that would be bad, but that they are very, very good at what they do, like a Washington Post style, you know, expose. And I've been told that this guy has been talking smack about me, your favorite pointy haired drama teacher, and I'm, I'm done with it, okay? The buck stops here. I challenge you, Andy Zietlo, to a brother-in-law smackdown. All right, good morning, OHS. It's Mr. Z here talking to you. Um, this is really, uh, I'm gonna be quite honest with you, I'm, I'm really kind of tired of all of this challenge stuff from my brother-in-law because there is, quite honestly, really nothing that he can beat me at. So, although these will be fun little silly things for him to do, it will be, quite honestly, humiliation, and then he will come down later or after school and start whining about how I am so good at everything, and he really has no talent. So, uh, and we're going to do things that are, uh, uh, you know, that make him work because quite honestly, let's be honest, he doesn't really work very hard. And uh, again, it will be just nothing but success on my end and failure for him. But uh, through it all, it was still, we are still brothers in law and love him to death, but uh, defeat will be soon forthcoming in many, many fashions. <laughs> Wow, that sure was interesting. Now let's take a look at athletics. Yes, let's do that. Okay, I'm here with Olivia and Audrey, and they're on the varsity basketball team. How is it playing with each other? It's pretty good. Yeah. Sometimes annoying. A lot of times annoying, I mean. But yeah, it's fun though. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think you're doing to? Um, well, the season's coming to an end, so... I'm kind of looking forward to the banquet and just like saying goodbye. Yeah, and then next year for another season together. Yeah. Yep. Um, what has been something that you guys have liked on the team? Uh, getting to know all the teammates and like playing with everyone is super fun because all the girls are so much fun and like yeah, and just like getting to know the classroom because like they're all really nice and funny. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lily, and I'm here with Schweder and Taylor Eckert. This is so. How? When are open gyms for softball? Uh, softball open gyms. We had two of them left because the season's coming up fast, March 13th. Uh, the last two open gyms are going to be from 6 to 7:15 in the uh, Conrad Field House, uh, Monday the 27th and Monday, uh, March 6th. The last two. Awesome. So how many people do you think are trying out this year for softball? I think we've got a pretty good number. Uh, our goal is to always have three teams. We'd like to have three levels of teams so we can get as many girls playing as possible. Uh, we'll see where the numbers kind of pan out, where we're at. Uh, looks like we have about somewhere between 30 and 35 awesome. who have signed up. That doesn't mean that that's the final number, but that's kind of where we're at. We're meeting with them this week, um, and we'll get a good... Uh, some good feedback there. Awesome. And how many of those do you think are like freshmen coming up? I think there's about 15 or 16 freshmen. So we got awesome. it, it's good to get the number of freshmen up. Yeah, of course. Uh, and uh, have more and more players. So mm -hmm. it's always good. So how do you think the season's going to go this year? Uh, I'm very excited for the season. I think we're going to be very competitive. Uh, where we're at, we have a lot of returning players that have been playing quite a few years at the varsity level. Uh, they're coming off really good seasons, and uh, we made it to sectionals last year, and uh, I think we have a good opportunity to uh, make some noise in our last year in the Wisconsin Little Town. Yeah. Awesome. Be nice to uh, top the water town this year. Getting to know. Getting to know. Getting to know. An administrator.
Hi, I'm Lily and I'm here with Ms. Hofschulte. So, what is your favorite thing about the school? Um, I would have to say the kids. I've especially enjoyed, um, my son goes to school here, Jeff Rowan. So I've enjoyed like being able to kind of live high school through him a little bit and all of his friends. Oh, that's awesome. So what do you do in your free time at home away from school? Well, we have two new puppies, so they take a lot of our time right now. We're also in the middle of re-landscaping our house, so that's taking a lot of time as well. What kind well. of dogs? We got a rescue puppy, a boxer bulldog, and we have a little miniature schnauzer. Oh, that's so cute. What do you do for the school? Um, I'm an administrative assistant, so I'm kind of the support staff for Mr. Olson and Mrs. Anders. I take care of all the truancy stuff and the discipline, so when kids get referrals, they come down here and I kind of process all that. What kind of extracurricular things do you do outside of the school or in the school? Um, well, I go on the communications retreat just about every year, which I really love. Um, I work the track beats, and um, when um, Jeff isn't playing football before he played here, I um, would attend the games and sell tickets. And next year when he goes off to college, I'll probably go back to doing that. Oh, awesome. You're very involved. Yeah. <coughs> well, that was a lot of fun, Hayden, right? An unbelievable time, William. Make sure to follow us on social media right there. And this has been another episode of OBC. Thank you. <laughs> There's a ton of stuff going around in the area. Like what, Hayden? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that sure was interesting. Let's take a look. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, it's hard, it's hard to look at you. Oh my god. Well, that was a lot of fun, right, Hayden? An unbelievable time. <laughs> <laughs>